Well, hey, I'm Paul McGowan, CEO of PS Audio. Look what I have in my hand. See the little light here? As I spin this back and forth, you can see it. As I turn this magnet, this light is turning on. Why? Because this magnet is being turned in the proximity of a coil of wire. And the story of the coil of wire and the magnet, which generates all the electricity we use today, is a great story and one that I would like to share with you. We have a free DVD from Coal to Coal Train. This is not a marketing piece. This is just a 40 minute long story of how electricity was discovered, how it's generated, how it gets to your home. We visit a power plant, we visit Hoover Dam. It's a pretty fun video and we're going to show you an excerpt of it in just a second. But I just wanted to let you know about this video and how to get it. So all you need to do is email us free DVD at psaudio.com. Here's an excerpt. That's what these guys want. They want to get as much out of the performance as they can and to a person, whether it be Singapore, whether it be Hong Kong, Taiwan, China, Japan, oh my gosh, here in the United States, the common denominator issue is power. That's a very, very important thing. People need to pay attention to what's going on there. You know that and I know that. I mean, there's an easy test. Forget about everybody's equipment. There's an easy test. When's the best your hi-fi ever sounded? Right? Two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning when there's no air conditioners running and it's black as night right in your listening room because that's when you're going to get you know, a little bit of lift on the power. Just an easy thing you can test for yourself. So what makes a film or audio system involving? Well, just as a wonderful meal needs great, skillfully blended ingredients, our home entertainment systems need the right ingredients, skillfully assembled, and fed by one basic pure ingredient, electrical power. Mm -mm. And you know, the system's reached a certain point where it's, it's really good now. And I put a record on that I haven't played in years. I, it is just so much pleasure. It is just one of the most, it's one of the pleasures in life. The, the next most pleasurable thing is to bring someone down here who's never heard a good stereo, who thinks they know what music sounds like recorded, and you bring them down and you say, sit there, what do you want to hear? And maybe they'll go, it, I don't have an ear. I said, we have two of them, actually. <laughs> I, I don't have the ear for this. I said, of course you do. I, I don't think I can appreciate it. Well, what do you like? Oh, uh, Beatles or whatever. And you put it on and the first thing they go is, my God, are those the speakers? And they're pointing to the amplifiers because the sound's coming, you know, from the stage in the middle. They go, those are the speakers? No, those, but, but the sound's not coming from them. Well, that's the whole idea my friend. The, the speakers aren't supposed to be heard. They're supposed to just produce this field in front of you. And they go, well, this is wonderful. I, I would like to have this. How come I've never known about it? Why don't I know about this? And the reason is, in America, it's not written about. It's just the mainstream media. Just They neglect this subject. They talk about good wine, good food, and, you know, the experiences in our country have improved in most ways. We have better food, we have better wine, we have better clothes, people drive better cars, they know all about the good things, but when it comes to listening to music, they listen on crap. They put the speakers in the ceiling, you know, they don't want to see the speakers, it's bad, dirty. And then, you know, do, do you ever go see live music? Does it come from over your head? No. And it sounds terrible, and then they say, they, they put it all in their servers, and they reduce it to an mp3, and of course they're not going to want to sit and listen to it. Would you want to sit and listen to that? You can't. You can have it in the background and suck the parasitical life out of the musicians that you've put on your server. So when someone hears something like this and they realize what a great experience it is, you know what they say sometimes? Wow, I'll make room in my house for a pair of speakers. This is really a cool thing. An excerpt from our free DVD, From Coal to Coal Train. There's the war of currents between Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla. Um, more great interviews with Michael Fremer, um, Bob Harley, Mark Shifter. Lots of good stuff, lots of good educational things inside of this. There's no product mention within the entire video. Why do we want to send it to you? Well, we sent over 30,000 of these out so far, and to date, this has shown a lot of you how electricity works, its importance, and 
well, then uh, maybe we can send you a newsletter. Maybe you can uh, check out some of our products. But in any case, it's fun. To get your free DVD, all you need to do is send us an email, freedvd at psaudio.com. Thanks for watching.